Hey YouTube, it's Archangel. I'm going to give you guys a quick update on the things that I've done to the tank. So as you can see, the tank's doing pretty good. Um, but let's take you inside my uh, stand. Alright. I'm going to turn on the refugium light so you can see what's going on in here. Okay, first thing is this uh, media basket I made. When it goes from the first chamber, overflows, goes through the three filter pads, then down through the carbon, and the uh, pyrogen I have next um, to remove all the organic uh, compounds that the tank produces. After that, it comes down. There's a hole at the bottom. No, it's not flush with the floor, so the water comes out through the bottom, and then up past the heater, all right, and then into the refugium. Okay. Next, I added this blue sponge. This blue sponge captures all the uh, bubbles. It stops most of the bubbles from getting to the return pump, and it acts as an, an extra filtration to the system. Um, I've also added a high door Seltz L20, and that that Seltz L20 powers my chiller, which is over here. Okay, today I got my chiller set up finally. Um, it's hooked up to this PC4 that I got uh, the other day, and the way that it's set up is. Um, the chiller is hooked up to channel 1 and the high door cells is hooked up to channel 2. Okay. <clears throat> now when the temperature reaches um, 79, I believe it is, it's going to turn on the pump. The pump is going to start pumping water to the chiller. At the same time, the chiller turns on. Alright, and now the chiller is preset to 80 degrees. So as the temperature keeps rising, continues to rise, once the temperature hits 80 degrees, the chiller will start cooling the water. And the, the water comes in through here, through the salts pump, and then gets returned to the tank. So let's see how the water gets returned to the tank. Okay. Water comes up here and gets returned directly into the tank. Purchased this from my local hardware store, and it's just the uh, elbow that's fitted with a clamp, and it goes directly to the tank. Um, also, I have in here is this custom filter pad I made. Right here's some egg crate. Um, it goes straight to the bottom, all the way down throughout the whole chamber, chamber one, and filters the water before it gets to you know, the uh, overflow area. Also, what I did, so I could put this actually where it is now, is I modified the inside here. Originally, it stopped right here where my thumb is, and I extended the cut a couple inches to accommodate uh, the hose. Also, a future additions to the tank that involve the PC4 is going to be an auto top-off. I purchased today a float switch that will go inside my sump. Once the water um, goes below a certain level, it will activate the switch. The switch will tell the PC4, hey, turn on this outlet, which will be hooked up to a 5-gallon uh, bucket right here. And the 5-gallon bucket will have the pump in it, and it will pump water directly to the sump. It's going to say, hey, the water has enough, uh, the, the sump has enough water. And um, it will tell the pump to shut off. Okay, so those are my updates. Um, please rate, comment, subscribe. And um, especially sub subscribe because in the future, I'll be doing a giveaway of a uh, one gallon magnesium supplement by Bulk Reef Supply. Um, it will be available only to subscribers so please subscribe so you could be entered in the chance for a giveaway for a one gallon uh, mix of magnesium supplement. It's Archangel signing out. Please
don't forget to subscribe.